Hello girls, so today we are going to learn on part 2, unit 3, wild weather. Our topic for today will be on natural disaster and the skills that we are going to practice is vocabulary and listening. You can refer to your part 2, page 33. Okay, before we get into the chapter, quickly list down all words that you can think of related to natural disaster. Now pause the video for 30 seconds and then resume once you have your list ready. Exercise 1. Now let's listen and repeat the words in the box. Unit 3. Vocabulary and listening. Natural disasters. Exercise 1. Volcano. Earthquake. Avalanche. Hurricane. Flood. Wildfire. Tornado. Tsunami. Landslide. Drought. Famine. Okay. Okay, which two words can't you see in the pictures from all the words you have heard just now? Yes, it's landslide and famine. Now, complete the uh, questions from number one to number eight. Fill in the blanks. You can pause the video and resume once done. Okay, let's listen and check your answers. You can note down all answers while listening. Unit 3. Vocabulary and listening. Natural disasters. Exercise 2. A hurricane is a storm with very strong winds. An avalanche is a large amount of snow which falls down a mountain. A wildfire happens in hot weather when an area of forest is very dry. A flood happens when it rains a lot. A volcano is a mountain that erupts and releases hot liquid. An earthquake makes the ground move. A tsunami is a very big sea wave. A drought happens when there isn't enough rain. A tornado is a very strong wind that goes round and round. All right, I hope you have got all the answers. Okay, number one, two until number eight. Exercise 3. What do you know about natural disasters? Look at the quiz. Now decide whether the sentences are true or false. Most of the world's volcanoes are in Europe. There are over 1,000 tornadoes in the USA every year. An earthquake happens somewhere in the world every 30 seconds. And landslides can happen because of wildfires which is true or false. You can pause the video till you have noted down all the answers and resume once done. Now let's listen to a TV program about natural disasters and check your answers to exercise 3. Unit 3. Vocabulary and listening. A TV program. Exercise 5. Hello, and welcome to Mysteries of the Earth. This week we're talking about natural disasters. Did you know that there are some areas of the world where more natural disasters happen than others? For example, 75% of volcanoes are in the countries on the Pacific Ocean, 
like Japan and New Zealand. Most of the world's big earthquakes also happen here. And the USA has more tornadoes than any other country, over a thousand a year. Some natural disasters happen more often than you think. For example, there's actually one earthquake every 30 seconds somewhere in the world. That's two a minute. However, most of these earthquakes are so small that we can't feel them. Unfortunately, sometimes one disaster can cause another one. For example, a tsunami sometimes happens after there is an earthquake in the middle of the sea. And a wildfire on a mountain can sometimes cause a landslide. We know that trees can stop landslides happening. That's because trees help to keep the earth in place. But when there aren't any trees, the earth can move more easily and it can come crashing down onto a town or city. The big problem with many natural disasters is that nobody knows when they will happen. However, some people believe that animals can feel when a disaster is about to occur. There are many stories about animals behaving unusually just before a volcano or an earthquake. Dogs cry and birds stop singing, for example. Why does this happen? Who knows? Maybe they have a special ability, which human beings don't have, to understand how nature works. Okay, so you've got the answers. Now, do most world's volcanoes are in Europe? No. Alright, so most volcanoes are in countries on the Pacific Oceans. There are over 1,000 tornadoes in the USA every year. True. An earthquake happens somewhere in the world every 30 seconds. It's true. And landslides can happen because of wildfires. It's true. Exercise 6. Now listen again and answer the questions. Which two kinds of disaster often happen near the Pacific Ocean? Why don't we always feel earthquakes? Where do some tsunamis start? What can stop a landslide? And what do birds sometimes do before a disaster? So listen and note down your answer. Unit 3. Vocabulary and listening. A TV program. Exercise 5. Hello, and welcome to Mysteries of the Earth. This week we're talking about natural disasters. Did you know that there are some areas of the world where more natural disasters happen than others? For example, 75% of volcanoes are in the countries on the Pacific Ocean, like Japan and New Zealand. Most of the world's big earthquakes also happen here. And the USA has more tornadoes than any other country, over a thousand a year. Some natural disasters happen more often than you think. For example, there's actually one earthquake every 30 seconds somewhere in the world. That's two a minute. However, most of these earthquakes are so small that we can't feel them. Unfortunately, sometimes one disaster can cause another one. For example, a tsunami sometimes happens after there is an earthquake in the middle of the sea. And a wildfire on a mountain can sometimes cause a landslide. We know that trees can stop landslides happening. That's because trees help to keep the earth in place. But when there aren't any trees, the earth can move more easily and it can come crashing down onto a town or city. The big problem with many natural disasters is that nobody knows when they will happen. 
However, some people believe that animals can feel when a disaster is about to occur. There are many stories about animals behaving unusually just before a volcano or an earthquake. Dogs cry and birds stop singing, for example. Why does this happen? Who knows? Maybe they have a special ability, which human beings don't have, to understand how nature works. Okay, so I hope you've got your answers. If you don't, you have to rewind the video again and listen to note down your answers. All right, let's check your answers. Which two kinds of disaster often happen near the Pacific Ocean? Yes, it's volcanoes and earthquakes. Why don't we always feel earthquakes? It's because they are too small. Where do some tsunamis start? In the middle of the sea. And what can stop a landslide? Well, trees can stop a landslide. And what do birds sometimes do before a disaster? They stop singing. Okay, with that, we are done with today's lesson. I hope you have got all the vocabularies related to natural disasters and you have learned something new today. With that, uh, goodbye and please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel.